All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I had an amazing sleep last night. I mean, I didn't really work on my game too much. I think I just added uh, just a perk or something. Uh, and I just simply call it Thoroxine Injectors. So, you know, since it's a sci-fi game, I do want to try to put as much, you know, real-life stuff as I can. So basically it's to treat radiation poisoning or damage. Because in Fallout, they have, you know, right away. Uh, you know, in my case, I'll just use the actual thing, the rock thing, because I think that's the generic term for it. So anybody could use it. So I don't have to worry about copyright. Uh, so it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, but I, I listen to a lot of Simon Sinek YouTube videos about the infinite game and leadership and all that stuff. Uh, you know, uh, it's actually an interesting thing. It's like, <clears throat> I always played to win, right? And that's usually how we're brought up. <clears throat> or at least us right wing circles, I guess. But it turns out that there's an other alternative that I also always intuitively understood too, but I just never thought they were actually two distinct and turns out opposing things, which is you play to perpetuate the game. You keep playing for the sake of keep to just keep, be able to keep playing the game. You know, politics, business, making money, etc. Uh, very, very fascinating. And he used the example of the Vietnam War or the Russians attacking Afghanistan. You know, the superpowers like America and Russia or Soviets at the time were playing to win while the Vietnamese and Afghanis or the Mujahideen, Mujahideen, yeah, um, they were playing to survive. So they were playing the long game, the infinite game, you know, whereas the other one was going to play to win. And the problem is when you play to win, it's finite, which means it's limited, right? Like baseball or football for their four quarters and football and then the game ends there are nine innings in baseball and the game ends well in the infinite game it's basically like well it just keeps, goes on forever so eventually the people playing the finite game to playing to win they'll run out of resources get frustrated and then just leave whereas the infinite game people they'll just keep on going and going and going right and that's the cycle of life so uh i'm definitely gonna that's definitely the next book i'm gonna read i want to start actually reading the um the Chris Voss negotiation book, the uh, hostage negotiation book today. So a lot, a lot of good stuff to read, but that's definitely a next on my reading list. So uh, yeah, I guess I really did turn out to want to read books, right? But just the useful ones, because to me, I just, well, I don't like reading fiction, even though it's pretty good. It's like, well, I'd rather just watch it on TV or movies or something, right? I mean, that's just me. You know, I, I'm very passive, <laughs> right? But when it comes to reading, it's like, okay, well, it's a lot of effort, so it better be really good. Right. So, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll read, you know, self-help books, which is fine because Simon Sinek also said there should be a self, uh, help others section and not a self-help section. That's the other problem. Right. So, you know, it's like, yeah. And then on the other hand, I'm also looking deeper into advertising and monetization. So one conflict I'm going to be having is I'm not sure how, because initially I thought I was just going to target 18 to 45, 40 ish aged people that are right right leaning i'm not so sure that's a good idea now because but then on the left it's like because the problem is is like i was trying to reply to somebody and then it was on nick fuentes's timeline and a lot of groupers got really upset when i just said well we need we need when i said we need more empathy and creativity and then people just like start like they were well the exception of one borderline f word which i eventually blocked because this thing was just a huge asshole well it implied i could tell that like you know, he, he, he definitely, Satan is his daddy or whatever. But then others, like there was another guy, I was trying to talk to him. It's like, well, I eventually got him to acknowledge that empathy was important, but he just said it doesn't help our current predicament. So it's like, ah, I don't, I don't want to, uh, see, I didn't re finish reading. I, I only, I'm only up to page 40 out of like 266 of the hostage negotiation book. So it's like, yeah, all right, fine. I, I just said, that's right. And then I just left it at that. Uh, because I used to just say, you're right, but actually there's a big difference. So now I'm trying to transition. But anyway, uh, it, it, it does show a problem, but I don't know. Maybe I'll stick to it for now. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, but I definitely have a lot of questions going forward for sure. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches have not been released for this week. I did basically no research, so I have no idea what's going on. But I did look up uh, meat shortages, which is what we're going to read here in case it doesn't show up on the yahoo front page 
Bitcoin dies at 67.3 percent. 24-hour volume has uh, slid back down to its uh, kind of normal-ish low number, 135 billion. Uh, Bitcoin's creeping up a little bit, 9,067. Uh, it's I think the spark line is a kind of accurate. It should be. I mean, basically it's flat line, but it should be flat line towards the upside. So that's what we're seeing so far. So that's good. Uh, Litecoin's still kind of sleepyish, 42.68. Uh, dog coin, 309.6 million, so not much change there. Hive, 32.35 said, so it's continuing to go down. So probably, Steam is at 16.75 cents, so yeah, that's about right. Yeah, I hope Hive doesn't go all the way down. That's really kind of shitty. All right, so it looks like markets are actually, I am going to refresh this again because we're getting different prices. So we'll just wait on this. U.S. kind of faces longer term concerns. Yeah, no shit, because you shut everything down. It's not, it's not like the people who are claiming unemployment are going to suddenly find a new job. Uh, Remel is taking a kind of beat down. You know, so 0.56 cents. Yeah, so that's about right. I mean... You know, uh, uh, the, the actual economic damage from the shutdown is going to be. Uh, Trump's growing the economy drops from B to C. So obviously the globalists and the shit lib Democrats that are, you know, shutting everything down, continue to shut everything down or getting what they want, which is hurting Trump. It's still not going to work, though, because I, I mean, I already, I don't want to go to my Twitter, but I already tweeted something where basically Trump's approval is like 51 to 49, like 51 approval. Um... That was like a Harris poll, I believe. And at the same point in time, Obama was like 40%. Like that was the high end, 38 to 41%. And I used to just look at uh, Gallup. Before it turns out they were just another establishment hack bullshit organization because of the way they treated Ron Paul. Stocks fall after Powell warrants of lasting damage. Uh, Americans who don't follow leave billions. Okay, Trump's great, honey. Stocks fall. Actually, I'm curious to read the Yahoo comments on this. Let's see. We're not going to read this uh, asshole's article. Uh, just give me the comments. Oh, there's only 13. Wait, this is another guy. Give him a basic NFL. A bit too high. He brought too much. Uh, Dotar. Are we grading on the curve? How is it bad for is it bad for one or two years? Back across the board. Star Wars. I don't see this asshole complain when Obama was doing the same thing. Great B to C says Lefty Yahoo, even more Lefty Rick Newman. I think I people are downloading him. Poor guy. Uh, and then a lot of people are trying to trigger the shit libs here. Yeah. Yeah, no wonder the comments are so fucking retarded because it's mostly populated by shit lib trolls. Uh, Alexa, I make trade easy. See, this is the other problem too: advertising and pandering too. It's like I don't like I need to make money, right? Say for my game, but if like most of my customers are these fucking idiots, it's like that it puts me in a real problem. Is and they'll just start complaining about your content's right wing. Fuck this game. Fuck you. And it's like it's like <laughs> actually maybe that maybe I should actually just start <laughs> advertising the right wing people that I'm like. Uh, this is gonna suck because because as soon as I say creativity and empathy it's like a lot of them just start like freaking out the women are okay but that's because they're women so women are naturally more egot 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 uh, egalitarian uh, God, I hate that word so much Paul addressed our outlook about bets on negative rights so Jero oh, so he's just this is the Fed um all right. Actually, this could be important. I mean, the Fed is addressing national bankruptcy problems. New normal to put for you guys. It looks awful, long, and perilous. Okay, so we've gone from hysteria, fear mongering to the economy is dog shit, and the markets are dead. What? The markets are down a hundred, but the spark line's going up. Okay. All right. Well, we can definitely see that rebels tanking. All right. Lasting damage. Is this the same article? Just want to make sure we're getting the right article here. Of course, Firefox closed it, but on oh, God, this thing is so fucking bad. All right. Well, it's actually a different article, but we're actually going to read the thing. Okay. 
JFC coins at six to nine, so still a lot of volatility, which is fine. 404 is at two to four with three in the middle, but I want to wait behind this big guy, so I'm just selling at uh, three when my thing comes in. Two by two is at 66 to 69, so very good. Uh, compound coin gaining a little more strength, 5,000 to 5,500. So it's actually been pretty solid, especially as Bitcoin's been going up as we could see here but the altcoins are doing whatever so uh very very solid bitcoin have what now uh basically nothing i mean it's about coronavirus and the long-term effects of uh demand dollars uh but it's about the effects of um the shutdown fallout so that's so that we can already see uh you know big fake news media you know uh starting to shift towards that especially since uh they're trying because obviously you have to understand globalists have a 50 50 problem one they want to maintain control but on the other hand this is a great opportunity to to damage trump get them out and hurt the people by keeping them caged in in democrat areas you'll notice that they're being a lot more fascistic right police state and all that and population doesn't care because they're liberals democrats typically love being you know locked in you know and on top of that because they have empathy and creativity they're probably more technical techno technologically inclined which means they can do most of their shit online all right but they also don't realize that it's actually a trap all right conservatives on the other hand don't have are not at nearly as creative or empathetic as a whole not all of us obviously at least not me but as in general, that's why they get pissed when you you know cage them in. They also tend to you know also just not view government as trustworthy for the most part. So that's why you see what what's happening. Uh, with that being said, um, yeah, I mean it's going to cause damage. I was on off stream before I hit the record, but I was actually looking at the meat shortage uh, thingamajigs. Yeah, it's actually pretty disgusting to meet the major meat packing plants. So like. Like, we really should have an anti-oligopoly um, uh, law, because then we wouldn't have this pro fucking problem, right? But for now, like, what they're going to do is they're going... In the short term, yeah, there's going to be meat shortages, because they're going to have to keep the plants down. As much as I want them to reopen, but, like, the disgusting... Uh, I don't even want to describe it, but the disgusting conditions that the workers are working in, uh, even though they're upgrading certain things, yeah, it's just not enough. Uh, number two, they're going to start uh, spending the extra money to start automating a lot of the stuff. So the jobs aren't coming back. You know, actually, I do have that open. Yeah, actually, I do have that open. We'll talk about that when we get to this article. So, uh, yeah, so things will be changed. But in the very short term, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be more angry when I go to Target. So, I, in fact, I mean, I'm going to Target. I should just simply go to my local grocery store i'll have to get the shittier stuff but at least they'll have stuff <laughs> uh I, and who knows maybe they may not even have stuff you know i'll have to uh i don't know today i have to lift weights i don't know we'll see i kind of like get some air to be honest jack dorsey says mole fintech plus big cooker replace trips to your local bank well yeah i already just sit on my house all day i mean shit my local bank branch uh, actually i better not talk about that the opsec reasons I, 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 I don't, I, I, don't uh, I have no need for it, even though I kind of want it there, you know. Ripple launching new launch platform, crypto asset, XRP involved. Actually, that's the thing. If I go back to doing, um, if I go back to doing a little acting work, I'm going to get paychecks from central casting or whatever. So I need to be able to go to a bank and deposit it. That's kind of a problem. Massive 417 million Bitcoin, but crypto. Yeah, God, that's nothing. Again, all right, I don't even want to buy a click. You should know this by now, all right? The 24-hour volume on Bitcoin is so high, along with the entire general cryptocurrency market, you know, trade volume per day. This is nothing, nothing. Now you multiply this by 10 or 100. Okay, now we're getting somewhere because now we're actually going to have to, now it's actually an actual percent fraction of the entire thing, all right? But less than 1% or even, or even a couple percent, it's like, eh. Ripple says crypto traders swap with Bitcoin. The revenue of what could we get check? The Telegraph officially ends ill-fated crypto project. CEO cites U.S. domination of global finance. Interesting. Wait, Telegram had their own crypto? That actually might be interesting. Oh God, what? I, the... oh God, this the fucking Firefox is such a terrible fucking browser. 
Soon to be C. Joe Kearns's Bitcoin investor. Here's his thing. Oh, that's good. He was actually, uh, he's actually, I reckon, I, re I remember in all previous videos, we mentioned this guy occasionally. I also like that thumbnail. What's the thumbnail here? Uh, phew, they're both pretty good thumbnails. So for Bitcoin, uh, Craig Ray can go to fuck himself. Large Bitcoin crypto investor trust reaches 30.7 billion. Uh, Oh, wow. Yeah, so people are definitely buying crypto, so it's, it's not bad. All right, so the good news is me in the long term will be fine. In the short term, though, this could be a problem. And, of course, if you're not technologically or even Bitcoin inclined, you know, this is going to be a problem for you, too, you know, which could eventually be a problem for me, especially for fucking Remmel over here. I still want my 35 grand back and then get my fucking stock market account back to, uh, you know, 85, 115K. But yeah, I definitely learned my lesson. I'm going to fucking treat the shit scam stock markets the exact same way that I treat Bitcoin markets. Just dump that shit. But it's a lot harder to predict when the, like a big crisis hits. That's that's the problem. As I've said, I'll tell you, China is a very expensive thing to do. We should make a trade deal. The ink was barely dry, and the world was hit by a plague from China. Hundred trade deals would make up the difference, and all those innocent lives lost. Sure. Well, the so clear you see about the market, you must always remember that some are betting against it and make a lot of money if it goes down. Then they go positive, get big publicity, and make it go up. They get you both ways, barely legal. That's actually true. There are people that want to... Oh, that's another thing I completely forgot. Not only do they tank Trump and the economy and control everybody, the globalists also make money by shorting the markets. Uh, in a way, maybe we should make shorting... Um, we should make shorting illegal. But then we... Put, there are valid reasons for having put options, too. Yeah. Uh, it was the worst show I've had. Okay, I don't care about that. Obviously, I'm not retweeting this because, obviously, I don't want to get drop kicked in the face because everyone's just going to be hearing, China bad, China bad, China bad. Right? You know, I know Nick Fuentes is hitting uh, TPUSA very hard and Prager U, which is fine, uh, especially because they're actually doing very bad, evil things. Uh, so, but, you know, but the thing is I, I'm trying to now scale back like certain likes and retweets. I mean, it's like, I really want to keep using Twitter, but it's like, eh. like there's so much conflict. I'm just not sure. And then I also was looking and then Kevin Bacon gave a Ted talk. Right. So I decided, you know, why don't I go on his Twitter that I did this morning and see just how many likes and retweets he gets. Like now I'm having conflicting info. It's like, is there any point in getting famous? And then like. Uh, and of course, I know there are upsides and downsides. I'm more than willing to take the upsides rather than the downsides. It'll just be easier. I mean, if, it, if I'm that worried about security, I mean, I assume I'll have plenty of money. So, you know, I'll just do like, I mean, even Dan Brazilian has fucking security. So I assume they're armed. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'll just have bodyguards. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Price going prize that protect people from Korea. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, Skybird from National, the New York Air National Guard to the salute. Okay, cool. Sure, respect wear a mask. Here's the thing where do you buy these masks? Uh, when you wear a mask, you're saying respect. Okay, I propose America first law. Okay, he hasn't said much, but I mean, we already know he's we're gonna reopen this Friday. Oh, yeah, and Los Angeles is gonna like stay locked down until like August. It's like, what the hell. Yeah, but I mean, that's what happens, right? I mean, it's mostly run by liberals, right? You know, so they're like, yeah, okay. You know, it's just, you know, we're, we're just not going to do shit, right? Telegram officially ends its shitty crypto, citing U.S. dominance by the U.S. dollar. Uh, the blockchain, the TAN network, ill-fitted TAN, or TAN. Now there's a, there's a smart trainer that could function without any control from telegrams with power of the network. A true compliment for traditional. Nature hit multiple when the SE accused Teller of selling out of securities after. Da, 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 okay. We're further. There's other who carry out a lot for open free. So we. Anyway, Teller Ton had the potential. And the core really not only stopped grants from issuing in the US, but also globally. <coughs> Uh, the court decision applies that other countries don't have sovereignty to decide what is good and what is bad for their own citizens. So the U.S. is our own. We, the people outside, can vote for our president. Our problem is still upon the U.S. states when it comes to finding technology. Luckily, not coffee. You can go to the U.S. and shut down your bank account. 
You can control our app on Google or remove apps from the App Store and Google Play. So yes, sure there because you have full sovereignty. Yeah, this is actually a huge problem. Last my part of the final the money grant is investor refinance in a way out of now that if I just turn the cloud will recoup their investment. Yeah, so you know they say it's about protecting the investor and then they go right ahead and fuck everybody over who bought uh, you know a ton. So it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Uh, well, with that being said, that's why we don't do ICLs. You just like just trade in the open market. It's just like, yeah, do whatever, you know. So, um, so with that being said, I mean, you could still probably do ton. You just can't do an ICO. That's that's all you have to do. Um, but with that being said, you know, nah, that kind of sucks. But uh, again, they were in cro like. Actually, I don't know. I gotta think about this. Uh, I mean, there's probably. I mean, the thing is, they were they were trying to raise like hundreds of millions or billions. I mean, I don't know how you would even quietly even raise that much money without even you know what while not being uh, undetected. Because I'm pretty sure on Bitcoin talk, there's still plenty of ICO scams there. I don't see the U.S. government really going hard after them. You know, plus they're Telegram. So I don't know. If I were Telegram, I could do this all over again. I couldn't do ICO. I think what I would have done was, you know what I probably would have done? I would have just said, we are giving it away. That's not an ICO. And then you just give away a little bit. You hold like 90%, right? And then then exchanges will, because now that there's 10% of your ton out there to do whatever, then the exchanges will pick up on it and there's a free market for it. And then that's how you, you know, offload your ton. And then you just raise your money that way. But Telegram got too ex, uh, too greedy, and then because remember, greed is a sin, right? You know, don't forget. Even though I don't, have, I don't talk too much about Christianity, it still forms the bedrock of everything. Yeah, I mean, what happened was uh, they just got too greedy, right? Um, money, money above God couldn't fucking wait, couldn't get patient, and then they get fucked in the ass by uh, you know the U.S. you know global uh, global elite. So, <laughs> a, I, what, what, you know, what did what do you think was going to happen? Yeah, but yeah, that's all they had to do. Just wait a little longer, right? Just start slowly selling it, right? And then eventually it'll just grow. And then, you know, you still have an open market. And then you just sell all your ton slowly until, like, maybe you own, like... I mean, I don't know what the specs were on ton, but, you know, you hold 50, you hold 40% or whatever. And then eventually, uh, well, that's it. It's, it's officially decentralized. U.S. meat plant changes signal end of the 99 cent chicken. Uh, the human cost of producing 99 cent chicken. What are we at? 22 minutes. All right. Uh, I did read this off stream, so I'm going to try to summarize it just to save time. Some plants are already running slower because of social distancing and, you know, all the other precautions. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 10,000 meat workers have been infected by coronavirus and 30 of them have died, according to the union. Uh, oh, it's also nice to hear that Nick Fuentes clarified his stance yesterday. He actually said technically he supports unions, but he's not a big fan of them. You know, in my case, it'd be it, it, I'm, I'm, I'm more strict on that. It's like I'm not a fan of unions. I'll respect them, but I also recognize that they're kind of obsolete and actually useless, right? Because again, as we'll soon see, what's the union going to do when the robots come and replace all these workers? <laughs> We're a union. You cannot use technology. Like, are you fucking retarded? All right. You know, unions are basically behaving exactly like what they accuse right wing conservatives of being closed minded and not getting with the times. Yeah. Well, liberals are about to fucking find out what that's like. You know, in fact, it's happening right now. Americans want to buy cheaper, cheaper food. Uh, go, 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 go. But what's the cost of human lights? It's a lot more than 25 cents of the checkout. Yeah. Workers at meatpacking plants continue to fall ill even with barriers placed between them. The uh, Trump has ordered them plants to reopen. Reducing plants to a third of their capacity and reduce. Oh, they're operating only at 33%. Wow. Reducing plants to a third of their capacity and distributing agricultural boost could boost chicken prices at the grocery store 25 to 30%. I I want to pay it. I just want I just want the food to fucking be there. All right. I really hate going to Target and seeing empty shelves like for all the shit. Then I said per pound chicken. Oh yeah, I gotta start doing that after I take my shit. I gotta like start taking pictures of all the empty shelves and I just post it on my Twitter. It really, it should be on Instagram, but my I, I still will follow the Cobra Tate thing where I, I just don't post anything on my Instagram because I just because 
I have my Twitter, I have my YouTube. I don't want to deal with any more fucking social media. All right, I'll have the stuff, right, so people impersonate me, but I just won't do anything. The exception will be Facebook, unfortunately, because everyone's on fucking Facebook. Uh, and now that I'll, and then now that I know to do advertising on Facebook and not Google Ads, which was really shocking. In fact, I thought I was going to use YouTube. Um, yeah. We'll see. Nine cents per pop of trick. It could be a short supply very quickly. Das use research for the supply chain model. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tyson operating costs are simply higher due to novel coronavirus and running into hundreds of dollars. It includes 120 million bonds for employees, personal protection. The bulk of America's beef and pork are processed in a few dozen giant plants that handle thousands of animals. They have been allowed to run faster and faster. Uh, again, this is why we need more decentralization. Like, like that, that's why we have empty shelves. Well, some of us have empty shelves. A lot, actually, I get a lot of comments saying that your stuff is always uh, full. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm jealous. The upper coastal acceleration plan, plan already in place. Da, 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 da. Uh, you are going to see a bifurcation. What does that word mean? Bifurcation. Oh, it's not the nice lady. Bifurcation. Bifurcation. That's a nice word, bifurcated. Division of something to two branches or parts. Either or of two branches in which something divides. Uh, so it's a, fan it's a very fancy word for division. Okay. You're going to see a division where uh, the larger, more profitable facilities are going to move toward a vastly more automated meat processing facility. So this for automation have never been higher. Yeah, very much. Pilgrim's Pride Corp. Oh, yeah. So all you uh, assholes... Want, uh, wanting 15, 30 bucks an hour minimum wage? Well, meet Jonathan the robot who will replace you and your whole family forever. Pilgrim's Pro, and I'm not being sarcastic, that's actually what's going on. That is what's happening. All right, so you become what you hate. Maybe you should have listened to the conservatives when you had the chance. Was increasing its use of automation and robotics even before the pandemic. The company invested more. Oh, and Andrew Yang too. The company invested more than 30 million in automation last year. Projects that are helping plants to run efficiently in the midst of coronavirus. Uh, I believe in automation, we believe in robotics, we're continuing to go on that path. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, that's the other thing too. These meat plants were already in the process of uh, phasing in automation, even partial automation. Now they're going to obviously accelerate it because they don't, you know, it's like there's an actual need. Meat processing is usually a low-margin business, meaning companies will be wary of overspending. While there's probably going to be a lot of change in the way packers do business, because they will pay for it in the long run. Also, it was designed to produce quality products at the most reasonable cost possible. You don't go and add in a lot of extra cost to go handle a once in a 100-year situation. But you also don't turn blind to the fact that people are sick and some people have died. So there will be some changes. Another way to reduce infection, especially in poultry plants, would be to produce more whole chickens, just cutting up birds and laying the night before we're later. And yeah, that is true. Yeah, I would actually be okay with actually buying whole chickens um, at Target. I mean, it'll be annoying as shit to deal with it, but I don't know what actually. I don't know what I. I don't know. It's either that or I have come home with no chicken. Yeah. Consumers in the U.S. can afford to pay a bit more for their meat. Uh, that would increase the wages. CDD. Okay. When the budget is tight, it's hard to put food on tail. It's hard to feed your family. I get it. That means you put your family at the cost of all its life. It's not worth it. That's actually technically true. Now, especially when I, I don't want to read the, because there's a different article that I read that described the working conditions. It is disgusting. I worked for Smithfield for 22 years. Thank God I left. Uh, so, the, yeah. So, I'm not going to read the comments. We're a little pressed on time because I want to get to this article. But basically, they all said um, automation. Cheaper prices long term. Why is everything going up in the short term? Well, I mean, change requires energy, effort, and usually money. Uh, so you have to pay all the money now up front to get the benefits over time, right? It's just like investing, right? You put ten thousand dollars in a good stock or a good crypto, right? Or you put ten thousand. Uh, oh, I do not recommend you put ten grand into this, by the way, unless you're. I mean, you'll probably be fine, or you'll definitely be fine over the long term. But I don't want to hear people complaining about. It went down 40%. You, I blame you. It's like, just shut the fuck up. You're supposed to hold it forever, dumbass. All right? You know, it's like, remember, you're playing the infinite game. Right? In fact, I, it looks like apparently I knew that before I even learned that there was a concept of that. That's why I am where I am at. Right? And a lot of you are going to eventually be at my position. All right? You, know, you play to keep the game perpetuating. We play to make sure these cryptocurrencies keep fucking going because that's how you make your money over time. 
All right. You know, you know how you know how much shit I bought that went down eighty percent, right? With cryptocurrencies. Well, how did I make all so much money? Yeah, because eventually it goes back up. <laughs> right? You play the game. You know, you keep going. So, uh, so you put ten thousand into whatever this shit is, or your favorite stock, or whatever that obviously will not be uh, MRL and have a fucking uh, mandatory redemption clause, and you're forced to sell basically at zero. Right, uh, you just keep uh, you just keep making more money. Uh, I forgot where my one of my original point was, but you just keep going. Uh, let's see, but uh, yeah, these workers are gonna have to learn to like code or do something else because there's not gonna be much. Lucky for them, it turns out it only takes twenty hours to get reasonably good at something. Pollard addressed our outlook amid bets on negative rates. Okay, uh, how long is this article? uh story continues okay uh, uh we're not going to read the comments okay jerome powell the head of the fed uh are starting out possible of mass bankruptcies and long-lasting unemployment unless there's a more concerted government effort to shield the american economy from comedy it is a comedy u.s economy from the impact of coronavirus that's the context in which the fed chair will speak wednesday at 9 a.m during a virtual event at a virtual event. Uh, at least I'm glad more people are going to use the internet, though. Some investors are looking for insights, into, which means internet digital advertising is going to be even more profitable for me. Some investors are looking for insight on how hard Powell's resolve is against cutting against the Fed's benchmark and beneath zero. Some he's warned against doing in the past. Trump might call such a policy a gift for the economy. It's been a long time, but when you have negative interest rates, I think... Let me think. How does that actually work? Uh, yeah, I don't know. What the Paul's like to push back on. See, here's the thing. Does that mean the money in my bank account starts shrinking because now I have to pay interest to the bank? Paul is going to push back on doctrine and reinforce only to continue using balance sheet tools and leave fiscal policies. I don't know. If that happens, everyone's going to get so fucking angry, especially me because I'm holding. I'm still holding a lot of cash. Uh, I, don't know, you know, I have already cut their bid into nearly zero and gained an open-ended bond buy and begun rolling out mercenary and you have seen her not since the 1930s Great Depression. The other ones are more can be done still need to be bought by central bank law have already backed two trillion in rise for at least shit libs. On Tuesday proposed three trillion aid, though the plan is a little chance of going to try with Trump or Republicans. Yeah, because it's full of uh, Democrat pork. It's not actually going to help us. Well, it does help us, but it comes at the cost of them getting more pork. Which is why I just wonder, like, what the fuck are the Republican Party doing? So there's a question about the future fiscal measure. Might look like very more talks about uh, negative rates. Investor becomes speculating that the Fed may opt to take its benchmark overnight rate into negative terror, following the footsteps of central banks of Euro and Japan. The implied yields of futures currently to federal funds have gone below zero in recent days. Uh, the way sub rate zero rates would hurt the profits of bag or roll of money market alternate hurting rather than helping the economy. That is true. I mean, you're causing more damage. The FOMC have been pretty nice saying that we don't think it's likely. Uh, there are two we go to still uh, events here and it could spur credit creation. All right, first of all, like Elon Musk said, you can flood the world with money, but if you're not making stuff, that money is worthless. Uh, more likely, more so do that way and tell the freaking lady something back in the middle of recent years. So, if it's got the Fed is already buying lots of treasuries, it added 1.5 trillion of them. Their balance sheet initially a statewide ration or store for after pack season. Then that's why it's pretty fair. We'll probably continue to buy, but the aim of keeping long term yields low back to okay, yeah, because we because we need a because long term problems are called that long term problems. So, the best way to deal with them is to take care of it now, otherwise, it compounds over time. And it gets harder over to, uh, to deal with, it, right? Like anything in life, right? Why do you people get rich, right? Compound interest, because over time it gets stronger and stronger, right? Why do viruses or diseases get so deadly? Because it compounds in your system over time, and then it overwhelms you, all right? That's why you get coronavirus, it's like, oh, nothing happens. Five, 10, 15 days later, you're fucking on death's door, essentially, right? Because that shit kept multiplying and growing exponentially. All right, but how great would it be if you found out on day one, like cancer, and then you t deal with it right there so it doesn't travel into the future and compound like crazy and then like potentially kill you? And in the case of coronavirus, kill others. 
eventual shift toward yield curve. Uh, buh, 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 some like for New York former Fed are calling for the uh, uh, fuck uh, um, see, uh, 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 Don't try pronouncing that. The FOMC. Keep it at zero until the employment rate is back down to four percent. Well, that's gonna be a while. We'll have to see a very strong lean into enhanced four guy and regular open ended QE. Uh, our baseline so is more barn and new blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, what happens to my savings bank account? Fed negative interest rates. That's because you're essentially. But uh, well, it, it flips the bank on its head. If a yield on a savings account is negative, you'll literally have to pay a bank to hold your cash. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is what happens if you put it to negative. Like this is a, this is a really stupid idea. Trump should not be pushing this. This will actually make Trump lose the election. And where a bank, you, pay, where you pay a bank to hold onto your cash and pay, a bank pays you to take out a loan. This is an alternative demand. Suppose what happens when interest rates turn negative. Rates below zero are unconventional economic kind of could turn the world bang on its head. Though Powell said Sunday that negative borrowing costs won't likely be appropriate in the U.S. public, I'm really feeling current code to reality already. Getting on here, okay. See, central banks, and meanwhile, shield. See, here's the problem. If I have to pull out all my cat, like, this is a really stupid idea because what about poor people, right? They don't have any money in the bank. Now they're losing money just for doing nothing. So we have people who can't make money. They're losing money in the bank. They, like, this is, this, there's a, there's a, this is actually 100% correct. Jerome Powell and the entire Fed need to fucking push against this. This is completely retarded. Uh you're trying to cross the curve of play dollars all over central bank, but because of five rates because it doesn't get free in the way you say lost cover on themselves. Uh never proven okay. And it's a certain code throwing something against the wall. See that's why negative trend up. It proven it's something more than experience. What are they? When interest yields fall below zero, it seems kind of after all, how can a rate actually fall below zero? Uh, they're not literally meant to be a floor against traditional. Take January for It's Government bond yields are trading negative turtle all the way out to 20 years. Bond yields are negative in France, Denmark, and, uh, and they were once sub zero. Since the coronavirus is around, but negative rates can happen more from just bond. Central Bank can also cut its benchmark rate in negative territory. Uh, let's see. A Swedish bank has done it. Force and it's still banned on Twitch. Today, the ECB has minus 50 basis points. <clears throat> okay. Uh, if, okay, if a yield on a savings account is negative, you theoretically have to pay. They have a story tree and you go out and buy a couple of supposedly make a little bit of money. Yeah, this is, see, look how retarded this winds up becoming. People are going to be like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> and negative rate means you're more concerned with the return of capital rather than the return on capital. Yeah, the return of rather than on. It's meant to save people to borrow money and take more risk. Because your price showing anyone would just have on its own, I'd likely be turning it on the federal one. Um, it's also tend to explain it's four hundred K tends to a negative buy a negative buy. What's the person seem to be reserved for the most desperate times? Um okay. Fearing and deflation of these shows, sorry. Betting on rates would spur and tits a little bit. So after all, why would people prefer to keep their money in account when they can just borrow and make a profit? And why would back down? The idea of bringing negative rates seems trickier. Okay. Well, first of all, the Fed funds rate is like close to zero, and the mortgage is still like four percent. So I mean, the fucking bank is still going to keep all the profit anyway. So it's not going to have the effect that these idiots want. Uh, this is actually a real problem. Trump better not fucking do this. No, I know it would be happening in New York too. It doesn't look like negative interest will be happening in America soon. When was this article written? Uh, March 20th, 2020. Shit, this was written almost two months ago, though. Uh, if the salary or saving or living will be left behind in a negative world, just saying or having bad from decades, it'd be extra hard. Yeah, this is going to hurt Trump's base so much. Uh, other former fans want you to take a chance by undermining profitability, but more than you to well, it's going to be more Yeah, we won't benefit from it. Even if it's trying you better off keeping the money in the bank plan. It's fairly sure, and you're completely prepared from loss. You put that money in their mattress, you're no. Oh, yeah, there is FDIC, so I imagine they're going to have something that says, oh, yeah, but we'll make sure you don't lose money if you're below 250K, which would include me. 
I suppose. Um, yeah, the futures market is actually going to... Oh, God, this is a real problem. Uh, uh, negative. So this is an hour. He's pushing back. Oh, my broad right there. Bats, bats down. Negative Federer. Good. You should do that. If tr Trump... Actually, you know what? This is worth... Uh, yeah, this is worth... This is why I wish I was famous. I could actually push. <clears throat> uh... Let's see. I don't see the thing where you say it will be a gift to the economy. Hmm. Could be, uh, it could be, it could be, um, actually, yeah, Trump knows money. I mean, he has to know instantly, wait, because the first thing I thought of was people are going to lose money just by holding in the bank. That's counterintuitive and retarded. You don't want that. Yeah, so I think, uh, and gosh, she is so hot. I like she's happily married too. So like, there goes my chance. Uh, she's definitely my ideal type of uh, white blonde, you know, conservative one. But anyway, um, and she seems like a nice person, right? So, uh, oh, of course you're a liberal. You obviously are gonna hate her because obviously, I, I, I mean, actually, do, does any liberal actually watch my show? But if you're a liberal, you're obviously going to hate her guts because obviously, you know, uh, you, you know you, you've, uh, you, you've adopted Satan as your daddy. So uh, not much I could do about that except to tell you to not do that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't see anything here where it says Trump said it's a gift to the economy if, uh, you know, rates go negative. So that could actually be fake news, but we'll definitely have to see. But um, yeah, yeah, this is just insane. But the futures market has already priced it in, too. All right, so it looks like uh, we've spent enough time yapping. So it looks like markets are going to be down. April, same store sales increased. Yeah, I love Papa John's. I just wish there was a Papa John's near me. Fire tablet, 40%. What is that? Uh, what happens to your voucher travel models? Yeah, so airlines are on the break of bankruptcy. That's fine. Maybe she says treasury some money for Fed's corporate loans. Uh, tap however, uh, Dow Jones paralyzes the multi Fed chief pro is coronavirus stock round. Um, I mean, technically, the fundamentals are pretty much improving, technically, but people are also now starting to get scared about you know, maybe uh, the long term economic things are much worse than we thought. Also, this. Also, this negative fund, this negative, fed, uh, this negative Fed funds rate is actually a big problem. Um, if, uh, but I mean, if we know, if we know it stands from Bitcoin cryptocurrency, well, so that's the thing. He eventually did kind of cave. That's because we were right about crypto. I don't know if I went down the barrier. The flip side is going to make great. All right, what is the title of this? Oh. Uh, policy tools, uh, okay, all right. PowerPoint of Fed survey reached tomorrow that details a 40% loss of jobs among households making less than 40 grand a year. Yeah, pretty much. So poor people always get hit hard. And of course, I mean, how many of them are going to blame Trump for it too, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're just going to have to see. Um... That's a pretty big major fundamental, but at least for the most part, aside from that, we are reopening. So it's like, it's going to be some more pain up ahead. Uh, but markets are definitely pretty spooked by the negative fe uh, f uh, Fed funds rate for sure. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to see, because that's also a pretty big deal. Um, but hopefully Jerome Powell and the Fed can hold out before it gets worse. So we'll see. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so we can continue uh, growing this channel. All right, so I'm hungry. I want to brush my teeth, do stuff. Uh, I don't know. We'll, I don't know. I kind of want to walk out. Uh, I don't know, we'll see what I'll do. I also have to lift weights later, so I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, 
Well, for now, I mean, crypto's doing fine, so that's good. Stock markets, eh, not so much, but again, they're pricing in the negative Fed funds rate. And the fact that Remmel is, uh, it's doing okay, but still going to be taking some hits. I mean, we're going to need to know what's going to happen. Uh, I'm a special, I mean, as long as the coronavirus dumb shit and the world keeps reopening, we'll be okay. Uh, but it definitely looks like the next couple of weeks could be a potential problem. Um because, uh, you know, again, the long-term effects of uh, coronavirus shutdown is going to now start being priced in. I thought it was already priced in, but actually it was. But their negative Fed funds rate prob is a big deal, right? Because um, that also could mean shit. They're doing it because of other things that we thought was fundamentally okay. Maybe it's not so okay now. So now we have to factor that in. So what day is today? Wednesday? Yeah, so we have tomorrow and Friday, so that's going to be good too. So we'll see what happens. All right, we're going to need some more data though, but uh, this kind of sucks, man. I was hoping just to just go right back up, but that's just how it goes. See you all tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chen, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, oh, God. All right, well, we'll just use this as a thumbnail.